Oh, I know we just had Krispy Kreme donuts on the show like last week yeah. because they were introducing their Reese's peanut butter donuts, but they're back with another round of new donuts this time to celebrate the upcoming eclipse, which Jonathan is so excited for, not just for this, but for the donuts. So August 21st, if you haven't already heard, is the epic coast to coast solar eclipse. And to celebrate, Krispy Kreme is selling a chocolate version of its original glazed donut. You can get these for three days only, Saturday the 19th through Monday look the 21st. Chocolate. Oh my gosh, how good does that look? Wow. Will you be stopping by one of those or all of those three days? There is a 100% chance <laughs> of donut. Yeah, yeah but yeah. You're, a, you're a meteorologist. When you say 100% chance, do people trust you or they not? They better. <laughs> Hey, better. I'm just kidding. We don't throw I out that 100% too often. <laughs> That's true. Well, thanks, Brittany. I know. I'm excited about that. We'll have <laughs> to go too. together, Jonathan. That'll be nice. That'll be uh, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So sweet. All right. This is cool, too. This yeah. is this is right up my alley. Little Caesars. It's got a new way for customers to pick up their order without having to interact with employees or people at all. Now, it's fun interacting right. with people. It, it is. <laughs> but when, you, when, you're, when you're hangry, Oh, and that's so And you need so to get true. your pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chain has unveiled a pizza portal in about a dozen restaurants in Tucson, Arizona. First, you order and pay with you to get your food mm -hmm. through the Little Caesars app. You get a three-digit code. Then once you get the code, you go to Little Caesars. You scan the code on that little machine there, and then the little pizza pops right out at you. <gasps> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Little Caesars does plan to roll out its pizza portal nationwide next year. Okay, anything called Pizza Portal, I am a fan. Yes, and that's down in your neck of the woods too, next door to New Mexico. Right. But I mean, I know, I'll have to call everybody that I know and tell them to drive the six hours to go. get to, to Arizona. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Pizza Portal, Krispy Kreme, I'm in for both. So much junk food. Well, Saturday Night Live, it has been on the air for more than four decades and has always been a source of political satire. There's nothing in there but dollar signs floating in cologne. Then he spent 20 minutes struggling to get into a Batman costume. <laughs> After enjoying its highest rated season in 25 years, the show is launching a series of primetime episodes. SNL anchors Colin Jost and Michael Che, Chi, Chi, reunite <laughs> under the bright lights of Studio 8H for Weekend Update Summer Edition. The co-hosts say, you may even see guest appearances from other cast members. The four half hour episodes will air before a live audience. It's going to be more of the same, but looser and funner. And, and uh, we're going to be able to experiment a little bit more. Once you just start doing it, you kind of just get in the rhythm of the show again and it becomes a show. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Chi. The segment will air live on Thursdays at 9, right here on WSLS 10. Yes, absolutely. Tune, tune into that, except for it's not tonight. Not tonight because of preseason yes. football on NBC tonight. Thursday night's primetime programming is being rescheduled. So if you're looking for your shows tonight, make sure to set your DVR. The Wall will air on Friday at 2 a.m. SNL Weekend Update will air at 3 a.m. Friday. Then Saturday you can catch the night shift at 2 a.m. And Good News, which is one of my new favorite shows, will air at 3 a.m. You can also find all of that information on our website, WSLS.com.